Is anybody out there more exciting or are people more excited about in terms of a 500 team than the Ole Miss Rebels? Welcome to the Voice of College Football as we break down every team in the SEC and the Power Five. Prediction by prediction, we give you the final results of this particular season. 2021, hopefully we get all the games in, unlike 2020 when the Rebels went 5-5. Five and five. And, of course, all those games were played in the SEC, 4-5 and five actually in the conference, and then an impressive bowl victory, missing some parts and pieces and uh, playmakers against Indiana and defeating a then top-10 Indiana team. So Lane Kiffin and his Rebels, the talk of the town, the talk of the conference, and to some extent the nation here in the offseason. What shall they do in 2021? Please like the video, share the videos out on social media. You like the content, others will as well. So spread the word about the voice of college football. All right. Uh, I love these matchups. Early season, of course, uh, matching uh, different conferences uh, and mid-level teams here you would expect with Ole Miss and Louisville. Now, uh, Scott Satterfield's team was down last year. The Rebels' uh, trajectory seems to be up and the Cardinals down this game in Atlanta. And I like the Rebels in a big way here. Austin P should be a win. Tulane should be a win, but don't look past the green wave. They're scrappy and they have been a decent team in recent years, but should be 3-0 and for the Rebels going to Tuscaloosa to take on Alabama. By some measurements, you could make the argument that Ole Miss gave Alabama its toughest test of 2020. Florida made the final score closer, but was playing from behind the entire game. Ole Miss had a tie game with Alabama with seven minutes left before losing by two touchdowns. The Rebels also, of course, put a big number of yardage and points up on Florida early in the season. And again, the Indiana victory was very impressive late, as well as 51 points and a win in Death Valley against LSU. So Ole Miss at Alabama is going to gain a bunch of attention if the Rebels are 3-0. and Arkansas, uh, that was a Matt Corral six-interception performance. They lost against the Hogs. They've got Arkansas back at home. The light touch for the Rebs, despite the SEC Western Division grind, is that Ole Miss plays Tennessee and Vanderbilt out of the SEC Eastern Division. So that good news right there for the Rebels. Uh, LSU, Auburn, that would typically be a difficult back-to-back, but the Tigers might be struggling, meaning the Auburn Tigers uh, in Brian Harson's first season, not a, a huge expectation for Auburn here in 21. But that came on the road, tricky. Liberty, tricky. Ole Miss hosting Hugh Freeze in Liberty. Again, another non-conference game that people are looking forward to because of the obvious matchup. Uh, there, Texas A&M, the would-be challenger to Alabama, Vanderbilt, Mississippi State. You see the road game stretched out. There's only four of them. Neutral site game means that there are seven at home. Ole Miss could easily go 5-3 and three in the conference. I think they trip up once, lose to the three heavyweights in the division, LSU, Texas A&M, and Alabama, trip up one time, 4-4 four and four in the SEC. They sweep the non-conference. Big season for the Rebels at 8-4. and four. Lane Kiffin off to a great start in Oxford. Your comments, your thoughts, your predictions below. And uh, please keep us um, supported here at the Voice of College Football. And uh, we will continue on with our content every day. Hit the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications to know when we go live and drop new content. We'll see you next time.